How you doing? This is Sean McVeigh with Sean's Outdoor Adventures, and in this video, I'm going to do a review on the Spot Hog Friday Night Delight release. This is a handheld thumb activated release. <clears throat> and yes, I'm in my basement right now doing this review, and my kids are upstairs sleeping. So rather than shoot a bow, I have this little exercise band set up for practicing with the release, you know, so you can see uh, a little bit of me using this. But uh, so let me talk about this release first and foremost. I picked this up because I really enjoy Spot Hog releases. I have, where is it at? I actually have the Whipper Snapper, which I attach to a wrist strap release just to give it a little relief on my fingers because I have bad arthritis. So I have the Whipper Snapper. I really like that. Um, I like the trigger of the Spot Hog releases. It's a, it's a really clean easy to trigger uh, trigger. The thing about, there's a couple things about the Friday Night Delight release though that I don't really like. Now it's marketed as you know a hook style release for when you're hunting you can just hook it on nice and quick and easy um, and that's how the wording is in the marketing. However you know if you're, I'm an adult male and look at where the hook is in relation to my fingers here it's it's really difficult to hook onto your bow. You grab a bow here. So like if I'm in a hunting situation, here's my D loop, you know, I got <laughs> my knuckles are in the way. And so it's supposed to be you don't have to really look at it to hook it onto your thing. Uh, but I'm gonna you have to take your finger off and you have to you know work with your thumb you know to try to find that D loop and get it on there and then put your finger back. You can't just hook it on if you have a adult sized hand. I mean, I got pretty big hands, but still, I mean, um, so that's a drawback in that regard. However, if you're someone who wants a short head on the release to try to help get more draw length, then, you know, it's a decent release in that regard. You're just, you know, you're going to have to get used to taking your finger off and finding the loop using your thumb to help get it on there and then put your finger back on. Um, so that's that's something that's a little bit of a drawback. A second drawback would be um, the colors of it for hunting. It's a little bit kind of a brighter color than I would like. White rope, I'd rather have black rope. Um, not that it's going to make a big difference, but I like to use my bow for turkey hunting. And so you really need to be camoed up. So that's not going to work. I do like the uh, wrist part though because when I first started using my whipper snapper, which is another reason why I tied it to a wrist strap release, I drew back and it slipped out of my fingers when I first started using it. And uh, it really messed the, the release up a little bit and I've been afraid to use it since. However, if I put the whipper snapper release in my hand, you see how it comes out past your fingers um, and so it's a lot easier to you know attach this style release onto the string they do make this in with a hook style head which is what I'm probably gonna do I'm gonna I'll probably get rid of this Friday night delay and go with the that whippersnapper style with the hook uh, one last thing about the hook now that I'm thinking about it so when it when it triggers let me let me go ahead and pick this up and and trigger it for you so I'm gonna hook it on pull it back anchored in okay it has a really nice trigger now the uh, the trigger here you actually have to like if it's in the um, if it's in that position and you push the trigger back if it's in that position and you push the trigger back you have to push it down till it clicks in so you're making a little bit of noise if it's a deer you got a shot at and it's you're it's giving you a second shot and you have to make a little bit of noise with the release to try to get it re-engaged, that could hurt you. So that would be another drawback in a hunting situation. If you're just going to be using it for target archery though, that's not a concern. So all in all, I like the triggering aspect of these spot hog releases. This particular one isn't going to work for me for some of the reasons I pointed out to you. Um, but uh, I just wanted to give you an unbiased little presentation on that to help you make a decision if it's something that you want to purchase or not. So there's that, you know, hook. Now you lock it in, you're good to go.
Thanks for tuning in. Until next time, take care and God bless.